Um, I think I just was able. I showed that I was willing and able to get better every day. Um, you know, put in the work, put in the time that needed to uh, end up where I where I was at. Um, and really just able to um, able to produce at a high level. Were you pretty consistent? Is that something they stressed? You know, September and October rolling, just consistency, those kinds of things. We got to be consistent. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, consistency, like in practice, in our meetings and habits and all that stuff. Um, because what you do day to day is really who you are. Um, just making sure that it really put the put a good product out. What's the biggest change in yourself that you notice from before you got here to where you are now? Still a long way to go here, but um, like football wise, yeah. it could be anything. Uh, just really, I think I've just uh, I think I've grown up a little bit since I got here. Um, being able to like the maturity levels have to it's a lot different being in high school and being in college and then even being a college athlete it's a lot different um, a lot of time management a lot of you know just what's the word, uh, responsibility that you gotta make sure you do everything you gotta be accountable and all that stuff so just I would say just growing up a little bit and in what ways would you say you have grown up um my mentality is better um you know my habits you gotta have good habits um and just the willing willingness to learn and everything like that uh just getting better every day just um, you know just really a mindset and who are some people that have helped you get better with that mentality and with growing up as you mentioned um I gotta give a huge shout out to Juice, um, Juice Scrooge. He, I mean, he took us all in as soon as we got here. Uh, me and Vang, we just, you know, we, um, we learned from him really every day. In the meeting rooms, we both, we, he sat right next to him, I sat right, right behind him. Cause, you know, any any question we got, we know we can ask Juice and he got, he got all the answers. Um, well, not all the answers, but he got most of the answers. And when Coach Charles talking in meetings and, we didn't understand what he's saying. We, can have, we know we can ask Juice because he was just, he's been there for a while. Um, to, I tried. I tried to. When I got here, Coach Franklin said that Juice was a guy I should try and mimic his habits. Um, so just really coming in on Saturdays, getting that extra work, um, taking good notes in meetings and. And just stuff like that. It's interesting because what you're talking about is learning how to be college football, play football forever. Yeah. Guys know how to play football, but learning how to be a college football player. Do you think, did, did, is that something you realized when you first got here? Yeah, um, you know, sitting in meetings, just having everything go over my head, I was just kind of like, all right, I got I to step up a little bit. It's not that. It's not that we didn't do this, that kind of stuff in high school, but it, it's just, it's different. Um, I can't really, I can't really pinpoint it, but the details and just, all the minimal details and stuff like that, it, it really is all the little things that make like, being a high school football player and a college football player just that much different. So one thing that you're, it's gonna be different for you now, there will be a little bit of an expectation. Uh, you're aware of, now that we've seen you play, we've, we've heard the coaches talk about how, how well you've done, how do you prepare for year two when when maybe now there's a different role for you? No, uh, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Day to day, going in day in day out, I'm worried about getting better, um, bettering myself on and off the field, uh, learning defenses, you know, stuff like that. Just becoming a better football player, more so for me rather than for me and this team, rather than what the ex expectation is. Um, it's, it's more of like a self-driven thing that I want to get better. Not really feeling like I have to live up to that expectation because of any outside, uh, outside, outside noise or anything like that.
So that run that Nick had in the Rose Bowl, uh, what do you remember about that play? Um, I just remember getting the play call and then I was like, okay, I like this play. We, we practiced it a lot in practice, um, you know, uh, special cadences and stuff like that. Uh, we knew it would work. We, it was part of the game plan and um, I just remember going down, getting, taking my steps and then falling on the guy and I hear the crowd roar, roar, I look up and he's gone. So that, I mean, it was exciting. It was a good feeling getting to run. Big guys like me, we don't like running 80 yards, but that's, that's a special circumstance, uh, chasing them down the end zone. So I don't know if you saw the replay, but Kirk Herbstry pointed out your role in that play. Obviously, Brenton had a great block too, but for a true freshman to get shouted out by somebody as big in college football as him, that's a pretty cool thing. So what is, how does that make you feel when, you know, that happens on such a big stage you know it's cool it's um it's cool but really it's it's more about doing it like for the team um mm -hmm. I, i'm not really looking for the self self-recognition uh you know, as part of being an offensive line and just it's more about more so about the team rather than the individual success. So going back to Juice, um, he was somebody um, that impacted everybody, whether it be a true freshman like you or a six-year senior like Sean. How much is he going to be missed in this program? Uh, he, he was a great leadership role for us. Um, you know, being the leader of the O-line room, and not even really just the O-line room, but the offense and the team in general. Um, but he, he showed us, uh, especially us young guys, because um, I feel like it's easier to instill some of those some of those uh, traits in the younger guys. But especially like um, I gotta give props to Kaden Wallace. He stepped up a lot as a leader in this room. Um, we just we got a lot of good guys and we got good leadership roles now. But he'll be he'll be missed because of his leadership role for sure. Thank you.